I get a lot of information from Twitter. Uh, so do I. Oh my! I I I learned about the the Jeffords thing on Twitter. I did too. And, and, and it's like it's like you're putting together a mystery because you just hear people's comments about it, and it takes you a while to after it, unless you can get to the like the HuffPo or or Drudge or CNN dot com. You kind of you, you're putting you're imagining what the hell the story is. Yeah. As it's it would have been really weird to watch. Um, 9/11 unfold just on Twitter. Like that, if Twitter had existed on September 11th, there would be some kind of article or website that would have shown you how people, celebrities and non-celebrities, comedians and non-comedians, had reacted to 9/11. I as wish it we happened, had had it though. You know, I well, felt like I would have. That, remember what? Just what? What a crazy day that was, and it was like you almost didn't know. Well, calling I mean, your close ones, and that's it. I would have liked Twitter. We have a version of that in that we watch all the different news feeds as it went True. down but on to see it boil down like that that and especially if not only had twitter existed but if the right wing noise machine had had existed Ugh. then and the left wing you know like the the way it is now it, it would be and and I do not equate the left wing noise machine with the right wing noise machine because the left wing noise machine seems to be based more on facts Whereas the right wing one seems to be based more on accusations and and feelings, mm. but to watch that stuff unfold on Twitter would have been amazing. I'll tell you what else.